if you think being spiritual and being in direct connection with God, somebody has to do your rituals or your jumping jacks or dress the way you dress, wearing an orange rope, putting malas, keeping their hair, their, their hair uh, shaved or long hair with a beard, then you're out to lunch. Come back next life. You're not ready. Any kind of ideas you have how spirituality should be is you have no clue because spirituality arriving to that place and developing that connection with the Divine Self does not require you looking in a certain way or behaving in a certain way. It is to recognize that the presence of the Oneness of God is in everything and everywhere. Everything is God, and God is everywhere, including in a, a vulgar, vulgar language or doing something inappropriate. It's everywhere. So you have to let go your ideas of good and bad to rise above it in order to raise your your vibrations to a higher consciousness, you have to go beyond these things. Otherwise, it won't happen. It's very simple. It just won't happen. But the more free you become, the more you let go of your ideas. You have idealists about anything, whatever that is. You just are always in this place that I don't know. And I don't need to know. But then when you're in this place, wisdom reveals itself to you. They will download information to you you will realize things, you notice things. And it's like, oh wow, I never noticed that, I never knew that. Because the cup is full. Like, right now I have this cup of water, so I can only put this much more water into it, but that's all. If I want more w information, more water, I have to get rid of this, so I can fill it up but if it's filled up you're full of inf full of yourself and you have all these ideas I can't help you you already know everything you have to use it's very simple look in the mirror it's so simple that you don't need to call a psychic to tell you these things. Just look in the mirror and see where you're at. Ask yourself a question. Am I clear? Am I happy? Am I in a flow of life? Am I surrendered? Or you're struggling and you suffer. And you're confused. It's super simple. Examine that. If you're struggling, you're suffering, you're confused, then all those ideas you have, they're not doing anything for you. You need to just let them go one at a time or all at once and be idealist. And then let the wisdom come. Because as the wisdom takes over, you begin to recognize that you're actually like a raft on the river. You start to flow in and you become a part of this flow. 
and existence keeps revealing itself to you. But even then, don't get this idea that you know it, because you would never know it. But you can become one with it. You can become one with existence, but you can't figure it out, because to figure it out, you have to be separated from it. Hold on for one moment, please. My Instagram ended, so I'm going to... Okay, just one moment, please. I apologize. All right, so anybody has any questions, you can, since I think we have taken that option of unmuting yourself, I don't know if that option is there or not. So you're welcome to either, if you can unmute yourself, we can talk. If not, wave at me or write something on the chat box and then I will unmute you and we can, we can, you can ask me your question. Hi, Tanas. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, you just brought a lot of clarity to me. It makes perfect sense. Beautiful. That's great. But it just feels like I just keep going like back and forth and there's um there's still a little bit of like fear of like going into the flow and some confusions, you know, and um right. Yeah. Whenever I, I feel like whenever I start to write things, like I get really emotional and things comes up and I don't know how to like process it or what to do. Okay, so when you're writing um, some things, you get emotional. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay, let's start with the first thing first. You mentioned about uh, you feel more clear but there's at times fear rises and confusion comes. It's when okay. I, I speak to other people because everybody has a different idea, like a different mm -hmm. advice, you know, and it just, it doesn't right. really like reside with me and it right. what resides with me more is what comes from me, from here. Right, exactly. That's beautiful. Others are reflections of who you are. So when they're giving you these other ideas or advices that's not resonating with you, mm -hmm. is existence is trying to show you that rely on your inner voice because, oh. and develop that. That's what the I real, was feeling. Yeah, the real guru is here. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we can communicate with the real guru because we don't understand the language. That's why the other guru appears, the other teacher, the teacher from the outside in a human form, for example, appears in your life to give you guidance. guidance. But that teacher is, if it's genuine, is the right one, is a reflection of yourself. It's coming from within. As you go forward, you begin to recognize the voice within and separate this language and this voice from the voice of your mind. 